Hello and welcome to Scrapbook.com's Handmade Holiday Paper Crafting Parade Hop. Now this hop is taking place over on Instagram, but I am also showing a video for the project that I created and some other ideas that you can make with this die. So this die will be the centerpiece for my car today. This is the snowflake die. It is two pieces. It comes with a little banner insert that you can stamp on to put a sentiment on. I'm also going to show you many other ideas of things that you can do with this die towards the end of this video. So to get started, I'm going to be using this Sherbert Smooth cardstock. It comes with a bunch of different colors that all coordinate really well together. And this is going to be a Christmas card. I love creating non-traditional colored Christmas cards. So I'm going to be using some little strips from this paper pad. I'm going to use this blue as my background, and then I will um, put that onto my card base to get started. And you can see I've already cut out my strips on the side. These are one-fourth or one-quarter inch strips. And then I had to cut one-quarter inch off the top as well, so they fit within the blue um, background cardstock there. So now I'm just laying down some tape adhesive on my first strip and laying that down on the left half of my card. I didn't want to go all the way to the end because I wanted to see some of that blue peeking out, um, but I wanted it to kind of be on that left half. So next I'm laying down all the rest of my strips, putting adhesive on the back and then laying them down, and I'm just butting them up against one another so you don't see any of that blue peeking through in between the strips. Okay, so now I fast forwarded and I'm putting my last strip down and this is a darker shade blue than the one that's in the background. Next I put some foam adhesive on the back of my snowflake die and I just used a white cardstock to create that and that cardstock is actually a pearlized one and I will link to everything below um, so you can shop at your leisure. So I've put that down, kind of centered it up and down and put it towards the right side a little bit just to kind of give it a, a unique look. Next I've gone ahead and cut out the inside banner die and I am going to be stamping my sentiment on this. I'm going to be using some of this mint tape, it's like a paper tape. It does not rip the paper when you pull it off, it's wonderful. So I am just going to be laying that on the very edges on each side of this banner and then going to be laying the magnet on top. Sometimes I find with new stamps or, you know, stickier stamps, when you go ahead and pull your stamp up from your stamping platform, the paper likes to slip through the magnets, so this just prevents that from happening. So I'm using the vintage type letters and creating the sentiment, let it snow, and I'm just placing it along here and spacing it out, and then I will stamp it down. And here's our card. Next, I'm going to be adding some embellishments just to give it a little bit more Christmassy shine. When I'm adding embellishments to a card, I like to map it out before I just put them down. So I'm using this smart glue here to do that. Just put my little glue drops down where I want them. And then I will go in and put my little embellishment rhinestones on top. This glue dries clear and it dries a little tacky, so it gives you that little bit of extra time to get your work done. So for this next card, I used an ink swiping technique for the background where I just laid the ink pad and drug it across. I also use this sticker book. It's got a bunch of Christmassy sentiments and colors in it for my sentiment on this card. I also used some gold pigment ink and brushed that right on top of my die cut as well. Here's another card that I did that same background technique with and I went ahead and used these tall skinny stamps to create that Noel. I really like these. They remind me of Ray Dunn if you've seen that type of stuff before. And then I also used a Lawn Fawn Merry Christmas sentiment and then I added some embellishments to the die itself. 
And one last idea I had was to turn these little snowflakes, cut them down, and turn them into little pine trees. Now, I didn't have time to make a card with this, but I thought that would be a really fun idea to do. My last card idea is to take your die cut and cut it in half. It's very symmetrical, so it's easy to cut it in half, and then you can skip using that banner sentiment part that's attached to it. So that is what I've done here, and then you can take that banner and lay it on top of it so you don't see your seam at all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more crafty fun. And be sure to check out this parade hop over on my Instagram page, sponsored by scrapbook.com. Thank you. Have a great day.